doing what I, so if we're going to come up with a top, a top five list, I would say that the first one is to say, hey, I have a stalker problem. Can someone help me? Just telling someone, just putting it out there to someone else that, hey, I have a problem and I need help. What do you think I should do? You know, what there's would, an what, old, I, I, I think it's a Buddhist saying or something that says, if you name the demon, then you can deal with it. But if you don't, then it, it, it like remains... That. It, it remains asymmetric and you have to, and you just, how do you, you can't deal with it. But if you name it, like I have a problem or I think I have a problem. Sometimes just that first step of like a, acknowledgement. Yeah, I, the floodgates I, mentally to go do all these other things. Cause you've given yourself permission and it's hard, but yeah, it's definitely, it's, it's, you know, you're a victim. You're not, you're not at fault. I, well, maybe that's, maybe that's step one. It's giving your, your, give yourself permission to address the problem. Yep. Because the, I think, I think you're right. I think that by not just being aware, I mean, I always talk about awareness plus preparation equals safety, but if you are, if you are avoiding the concern, then you're really blocking the awareness of that concern. But by, you know, naming the demon, like you said, by giving yourself that permission to, to protect yourself, I think that you can be a very important first step. You also take power away from it because at some point, you know, you might yes. have what's the old, the old, you know, hunters and howlers. Mm -hmm. So you have folks that are howling and then the, the thing is they go quiet and then maybe they, they become hunters and then that becomes a bigger problem. So, and as we go through the other, the other steps, I mean, you know, uh, just acknowledgement and then telling someone then leads to a bunch of other steps that will help you. Absolutely. And I want to caveat this conversation at, the onset by saying that even though we're going to be talking about five things that people can do to help keep themselves safe, to help stop stalkers, if at any time anyone does feel it, that their life is at risk or that they are in danger, 911 is always your, your first re resort. You should Absolutely. At, at, no, at any time for any reason that you feel that it is an emergency situation or that you're about to be injured or that you are in fear for your life, call 911 that is what it is there for. Well, you even talk about it. I think it's in uh, chapter one of, of the safety trap, Spencer, the, you know, this idea of like gut instinct versus anxiety. And, you know, that the whole, like, you know, the nervous system that literally the gut instinct goes from the, mm -hmm. the nerve that goes all the way from the brain, all the way down the leg and, and through your guts, so to speak. So there is something to be said for a gut instinct, but I think it's important to also like, as you, as you say in the book, like separate that from anxiety. But if, if you, if in doubt, call 911, get help. 